Madam President, I'd love if you could weigh in at this point and talk to me a bit about the obligations that you feel the West has to the global South. And I'm talking about the need for investment and also, in a sense, payback. To your mind, where does this leave you? Because technically, this isn't your fight. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for me, I'm first looking at the sources of the crisis. And here we are talking about geopolitical and then uh, climate change. But then um, geopolitical will always be there. So I think the lesson we are learning from that, that we have to diversify sources of energy. Um, for a long time, I think Europe has been depending on well, wherever they were depending on. But then crisis happened, and now we have crisis in energy. So it's high time to look to Africa. It's high time that Africa could be another source of energy. We have everything. When we talk of green energy, Africa has got everything. Has got nickel, has got cobalt, has got copper. So it's high time Europe, America, and others come and manufacture. Extract from Africa, manufacture from Africa, and then leave some energy to Africa and uh, take some to their other countries. But then um, uh, I must say that um, for Africa, for us, we think we still need funding um, to get energy from gas. Of course, we, we accept green energy, but there has to be transition, yeah. proper transition. And who should foot the bill for that, in Sorry? your mind? Who should foot the bill for that? Should that be developed nations? Should it be the private sector? Private sector, private sector, because it's, um, it's, it's um, trade and investment. So private sector should come to Africa, extract and produce energy. But again, fund for transition. Fund for transition because the reality is Africa now needs a lot, a lot of energy because the fourth industrial revolution is concentrating in Africa. A lot of investment, a lot of manufacturing is done over there. So there is um, a high demand of energy in Africa. So I think the world should look to Africa now. But again, in Africa, we have learned our lessons as well. Whatever we have, we have to concentrate in our power pools, regional power pools, East African power pools, Southern African power pools. Uh, we had that policy. We haven't done enough to, to create our power pools. So I think if we have the power pools, then there will no be problem of shortage of energy because whoever has any crisis, the power pool could serve for the, for the region. So that's the lesson I think we, we learned. But again, I think this is uh, a global problem and the solution should be globally. Multilateralism in solving this problem. Francesco. Because, yeah, we have seen um, panicking around the world. The superpowers, big powers, they are all coming up with their own policies for, for, for getting more energy. Americans have got their own policies, um, Europe, Japan, India. Mm -hmm. They are coming with different, different policies, but in ut unilateralism. So we think um, this is a global problem. The globe should solve, should have a effort, effort, global effort to solve this problem. So Friend that's what I can say.